Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back once again to the channel. Now, I know right off the bat, I'm gonna say that there are so many companies out there that make earbuds that it is mind boggling. And honestly, sound is probably one of the most subjective subjects out there because me trying to relay what these things sound like to you through a video is very, very hard. And what I'm gonna think sounds golden, you might not like as well. You might prefer more bass, you might prefer more of a clarity type thing. So sound is a very subjective thing and everyone has their own type of sound that they like. And kind of the reason for today's video is a friend of mine, he had a brand new you know, iPhone 7. Well, I guess it's not new now since the iPhone 8 came out, but he totally screwed up his, his, his AirPod things, you know, the Apple ones, and they're like 150 freaking bucks to buy a pair. And honestly, only real differences between these ones that I'm gonna show you today and those are about two hours of listening time that's really it. And that the ones from Apple are a little bit more high clarity. They're a little bit more Bosey. So we did a video a little while back for this company called Benny. They're like true wireless, you know, earphones, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, however you like to nomenclature them yourself. So we got a couple products in them. So real quick, you know, I'll have a link right here. If you guys want to see the first video, we had one of their sets in a top five video, but today we're going to be looking at a product from Benny. Now, these are the Benny true wireless in-ear earbuds, however you want to call them, and they're super light. They're like 4.5 grams. And the only real differences, like I said, between these and the Apple products are very, very mild. Now, Apple product, however, is $150. These are like 34 bucks, $34, which means that you could buy five pairs of these for the same thing as buying the Apple product. And what's cool about these is they have a lot in common. They have a little carrying case that you carry around them, has a 750 milliamp hour battery. And what's cool about this is that if you're out going somewhere and you need to emergency charge your phone, hey, you've got a charger right there with you that's taken wherever you're going, where you're taking your headphones. Now, inside the box, you get the carrying case, which also doubles as a charger, the USB cable, the headphones themselves, and two different size of earbuds. And this, why I do not know. Maybe it's for your Christmas tree. Using the Bennies just like any Bluetooth device is very simple. You just pair them up with whatever Bluetooth device that you're using, and then after that, you're good to go. Now, controlling the Bennies is very easy. One button does it all. You have answering your phone, play and pause, all in a single spot. Now, the Bennies offer two hours of continuous listening time, 120 hours of standby, and it takes an hour and a half to get them fully charged. And like I said in the very beginning of the video, they're very lightweight, 4.5 grams. That's super duper light, and they come with different earpieces, so no matter what size your ear is, they're going to fit inside them as well. Honestly, folks, there's not a whole lot that you can say through a video about headphones and headphone technology out to the public. I wish I had a way of having you guys listen to them so you could really hear the differences. One thing I want to say though, these headphones aren't made for working out. If you put them in your ears and you go try running or doing stuff like that in the gym, they will fall out of your ears. That's a definite fact. If you're just doing listening, walking, riding a bike and stuff like that, it's total comfort. The sound is definitely right down the middle. It has enough bass to sound really nice. It's not really super duper on the high end trebly thing like Bose. I know that some people prefer that kind of sound. So if you're a person you prefer that kind of sound, then you may want to look for something more expensive. But the great thing about these things, is, let's just face this, you know, whether you have an Apple device or any device out there and you want a pair of wireless headphones, you don't want to spend a lot of money on them because if you break them or you lose them or anything else, you're just going to be totally screwed. And plus, I really like the thing about the Benny's is the fact that it comes with its own little charging thing. The fact that you can take that little charger with you and store your headphones in it and you can be at the gym on top of a mountain, wherever you're at, and all of a sudden you've got no signal for your phone and you're in an emergency, pff, you can plug it right directly into that and you can charge your phone. Now that just alone I think is cool and that's something that I do not believe that the Apple product has whatsoever. So between the two products, if you wanna say actually something better about the Benny than the Apple product, well that right there is actually something better about it. As far as like I said, if you're looking for Bose-like stuff that's just clean and honestly, I feel Bose stuff is kind of stale. I've never really liked it. Some people like that kind of sound but I've never been a Bose fan. I've never owned any of their speakers because all the ones I've ever had, I thought were just too clean for me. I didn't. I don't like that, that, that sterile feel. So if you like headphones that have nice middle ground sound with a nice amount of bass, decent listening time, 
absolute great price. And like I said, you can charge your phone from the same thing. This might be something that you guys want to really take a look at. And like I said, man, who wants to pay $150 for replacement headphones? When, like I said, you can buy five pairs of these for the same thing. I mean, you could literally have one for your house, one for the gym, one for your motorcycle, one for your girlfriend, you know, and uh, one for your side lover, you know? All right, folks, so here is the bottom line. You're an Apple guy. Your AirPods break, you don't wanna spend a shit ton of cash and you wanna get a replacement that you can afford, these will definitely fit that bill and there's even some things about it that are even nicer. If you're just a guy out there looking for a pair of decent you know, earbuds that won't break the bank, these Binnies will definitely fit the bill. They're lightweight, they're comfortable, they sound really good and at the end of the day, like I said, most people out there don't have a whole lot of money and that always comes into concern. So me, I feel these are pretty decent for just the guys out there looking for a solid set of headphones. But for you Apple guys out there who want to look for replacement for those AirPods and don't want to break the bank, it's definitely a double thumbs up. I'm Elk. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Down below that like button, we'll have all the information about these. So if you want to buy a pair, just check out more information for yourself. It will be there. Peace.